Just like Spinal Tap, they just keep going and going. They're the real deal. They play all their own instruments. Mm. Uh, they're mm -hmm. doing a Zoom tour of Australia right now. I actually worked with this Australian gal once. She taught me violin. Was it traditional? Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, Suzuki method, 10 years. I can tune a mean violin. I once tonight I was playing didgeridoo. It might have been at the Montreal Jazz Festival, or it might not have. Mm -hmm. uh, that was about two years ago. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to this. I hear she used to be a waitress. Okay, let's get started. I'm Scott, expert and body lingo analyst. I train law enforcement in the military uh, in body lingo interrogation person. Uh, I created the True Crime Junkie Workshop with this guy, Greg. Uh, Mark? I'm Mark, six degrees of separation from Kevin Bacon. I'm an expert on human body language and ancient mythology. I help people all over the world stand up and get noticed every time they speak, including the leaders of the G7, who may or may not overtweet. Chase? Uh, thanks, Mark. I'm Chase, uh, best-selling author of Body Lingo Revealed. Did 20 years in the military, and now I teach that to intelligent people and the general public. Greg? Greg here. I'm a former Army intelligence instructor and resistance trainer. I've written 10 books about body lingo and behavior. I put together this true crime junkie workshop with Scott, and I spend a lot of my time on Wall Street and a little bit of time on Main Street. Excellent. Well, today we're going to be analyzing Miranda Sings, who is a well-established YouTuber with over 10 million subscribers. Uh, Mark put this together, so Mark, want to give us an intro for this? Sure. Miranda, uh, Miranda Sings is an actor, singer, model, magician. She got her start on YouTube, landed a Netflix gig, and is now holed up uh, at home during the pandemic. Okay, let's check it out. I went to CBA's, and first of all, they were like, oh, put on a mix. I'm like... So that was really annoying, and then I go inside, and looky, looky, on the shelves, Christmas things, white, last I check, it's November, and then I'm so ticked, I'm like, what the heck is this, and they're like, oh, it's our Christmas decor, I said, why do you have these up, they said, we're preparation for Christmas, Last I checked, Jesus Christ was born December 25th. Not November 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th. Why are all these things here now? I saw Christmas lights. I see Christmas sweaters. I see wrapping paper. Bows, even. So I'm just taped off. All right, Mark, what do you got? Well, uh, to start off, her stylists have completely abandoned her hair. At first, she's in the closet, as if she's been sent to the Coventry. The French have an expression for this, personne non Uh, uh, look at the stray hairs, her ponytail can't decide which way to go. Uh, and she's made an interesting choice here to wear purple, which typically signifies royalty. Alongside that, I'd like to point out pinky out, um, as if she's, uh, having tea with the queen. Uh, now whether or not she thinks she's royalty is a little unclear to me, uh, because she's, she's lowered her status by sitting on the floor. Um, notice how she checks the time on her watch, but her watch is missing. Uh, but she doesn't skip a beat and she just carries on as normal. Uh, the one thing she is pulling off here is the lipstick. This shows a true artist um, with a lot of confidence. And I'm starting to see a ramping up of, of emotion. The stress is on. She's counting Christmas items as if they're part of her own shopping list. Um, and I can't help but wonder if perhaps she's feeling a little, a little bit behind on her own Father Christmas list. Um, if, if I had to spend more time with Miranda, um, I would want to really tap into these behaviours. Um, that's my take. Greg, what do you got? Well, Miranda has 868 videos on her channel, which, give us, which gives us a really great baseline in terms of blink rate. Um, we, in the beginning, her blink rate is fairly normal, but it starts to increase when she starts talking about her religion, indicating a rise in stress. Uh, we see uh, her showing her canines as a sign of disgust. Her tongue juts forward um, as if she's trying to, you know, just push away um, early Christmas. Uh, we see her do the Duchesne smile, um, the du uh, better known as the Tara Banks uh, schmeiz. Uh, but I'm not entirely convinced that this is out of authentic happiness, but more likely out of her just trying to be polite. Uh, we also see some classic and juvenile behavior 
uh, with the baby talk, well, that's how I would categorize it, when she says, looky, looky. Um, and I'm actually going to disagree here with Mark. The lipstick uh, accentuates her lips, uh, indicating that she values high fashion, uh, but I think she's actually hiding behind the lip lipstick, which means she's lacking confidence. Uh, she, she's always accessing information to the right, uh, but whenever she's talking about a touchy, emotional subject, she's always going to turn, she's always accessing to the left. Uh, we see a lot of eye raising going on, and she looks directly into the camera for confirmation. Uh, she's saying, are you with me on this? Uh, Chase, what do you got? She begins with a swallow here, indicating uh, that what she's about to say is causing her some stress. Um, we, but we see her uh, speak in a strong, confident man manner. Uh, we, we, get, we do get the eye block in. Um, she's, she's trying to shut out early Christmas, a clear sign of avoidance. Uh, we, we have some lip compression here. It's a special type of compression. I call it the clarinet uh, um, hold. Uh, I'll demonstrate here. So she, uh, here we have her clarinet. Uh, and so the bottom lip just comes in a little bit, so it goes like this. Um, see? So the lip just comes in a little bit, um, and that's what I call the clarinet hold. Um, when she talks about Christmas, uh, she goes into a childlike state. Um, I've seen eye rolling a thousand times before. It's a classic textbook expression, and she pulls it off here in an interesting way by doing a reverse eye roll, which I find to be pretty fascinating. Um, she's on the floor, and whether that's a conscious or unconscious decision, it's there for a reason. Uh, she alternates between postural retreat and lurching forward, um, and when she goes back, uh, she her eyes go down. So as she's giving the viewer some space, she's showing disdain, uh, and her lurching doesn't uh, dissipate over time. She, uh, she self-soothes throughout the video by touching her nose. Uh, all of us have seen this hundreds of times before, at the least. Um, that's all I'm going to say on this. Y'all hit all the other points. Uh, Scott, what do you got? Well, okay. We're dealing with a narcissist here, and they are one of my favorites. Uh, we get small clues here. Uh, for example, the self-portraits on the door there. Um, in my opinion, we are dealing with a tier 3 narcissist. We see 22 micro-expressions, which are signs of pressure. Uh, granted, it is external Christmas season pressure. Watch her shrink, uh, her head shrink into her neck. Now, I have heard she is a heck of a singer, so that could just be her protecting her vocal cords. So there's that. Her illustrators are through the roof. They're syncing up with her story. The, she's got what I call the world's tiniest hands gesture, uh, and also the palm, uh, pr palm protection. And that's just when your fingers go over your palms, and that means wanting to take or keep something. And, and all of this happens in a quick succession. Uh, I can tell that she's rehearsed this because she has uh, small pauses in there, so it is pretty clear that she's uh, that she's rehearsed this. We also see four finger pointing, and I have a feeling this is because she is a trained musical theater usher. Ushers tend to point with four fingers, much like a flight attendant. And she has turned off her camp brain and acting like a tiger king. I'll stop there. Are we all good? Oh, we're good. Okay. I went to CBA's, and first of all, they were like, oh, put on a mix. I'm like, so that was really annoying. And then I go inside, and looky, looky on the shelves. Christmas things. White. Last I check, it's November. And then I'm so ticked. I'm like, what the heck is this? And they're like, oh, it's our Christmas decor. I said, why do you have these up? They said, we're preparing you for Christmas. Last I checked, Jesus Christ was born December 25th. Not November 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th. Why are all these things here now? I saw Christmas lights. I see Christmas sweaters. I see wrapping paper. Bows, even. So I'm just taped off. All right, we good? Mm. Mm hmm My Aunt Cheryl said that she put up a Christmas tree. She even posted a picture of it. I could not believe it. All these comments, yes, I'm celebrating now too. I listen to Christmas music today. What is wrong with you? 
Makes me so mad. Greg, what do you got? Okay, so she does this really interesting thing here where she combines the Elvis uh, lip um, with the Veronica Lake single eyebrow rise. Uh, it's really effective in, indi in indicating her disdain. I'm going to give her 11 out of 12 um, on her level of disgust. Uh, she really just wants one month of Christmas. Um, Chase, what do you got? Uh, we see surprise in the flash and eyebrows, horizontal wrinkles, her brow is stretched, eyes are widened, uh, her jaw drops for a microsecond. Uh, widening, uh, widening your eyes sends a, a visual that she is really telling the truth here, uh, saying, you know, hey, got nothing to hide. Uh, so I think she is being truthful about her disdain uh, for Christmas. Um, I score her at a 3.14159265358979323 a on her level of disgust. Scott, what do you got? Alright. She is showing real signs of anger, and we really see this in the nostrils. Her nostrils flare up like a monster. Now, I'm not saying she's a monster. I'm just saying her nostrils are like a monster. There's a difference there. Um, uh, you're dealing with an ego when you have a narcissist. And so I think she's having some trouble with a difference, uh, with people having a difference of opinion. Um, uh, Mark, what did the Romans think about early Christmas? Now, stick with this hyperbole because it will, it'll be a big payoff with this little history lesson. We've got to go back further in time to Norse mythology. Uh, if you take a look at the strong linear lines of the backdrop, the sleeves line up like soldiers on a rack. It's very reminiscent of the images of candles, um, like the, the candle crowns used during the Swedish Festival of Lights, better known as Lucia. It's celebrated on December 13th. Uh, light is used to ward off um, evil spirits that take possession of animals. So what, what I'm getting from her is what, what I'm getting from her uh, is that she might be dreading the com coming of winter, but not necessarily Christmas. My aunt Cheryl said that she put up a Christmas tree. She even posted a picture of it. I could not believe it. All these comments, yes, I'm celebrating now too. I listen to Christmas music today. What is wrong with you? It makes me so mad. All right, that's a wrap. Uh, if you like what we're doing here, please subscribe and hit the notification bell down there by Mark. Um, videos are uploaded weekly, so stay tuned. That's another one in the can. Are we all good? Yeah. All right. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Did you guys see how on the Seinfeld Netflix show, uh, what was that called? Uh, driving in cars with comedians on the road, something like that. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Jerry Seinfeld takes her out for Thanksgiving dinner, and she's a complete nightmare. So I don't think she even really likes Thanksgiving. Uh, did you say you live next door to Dr. Watson? No, no, Doc Watson. Totally different people.